Yo, welcome back. Ah, no, you missed one's going by the couple side green. Back with you guys with another video that you're your first time finding my channel or anything. You guys make sure what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button for you, boy, on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Yes, today I'll be reviewing the new NBA 2K21 PS5, I think Xbox Series X, Series X versions of it. Um, like as you see from our scroll. But with saying that, my, my opinions, my thoughts might be a little different than yours. Who knows, you guys? Maybe I might persuade you to buy this. Maybe I might persuade you not to buy this. So we'll be able to find out after this. Like I said, you guys follow me on Twitter. If you guys want to play with me on the park or anything, YT Cobra Stars my PSN. But with saying that, let's go ahead and cue the intro. Yes, let's just get right down to this review, y'all. I'm going to split this up into sections. Uh, probably my career, my park, or my park. I'll probably talk about the city stuff first and then get into my career just for a little bit because I haven't fully played my career, but I have my thoughts and opinions on what I've played so far in my career. So first thing, first thing, first thing I want to get into for the next gen stuff is the new thing that everyone's been caring about this year which is the city. The city is the new thing that's how they're bringing the affiliation into the game, how they're bringing, supposed to be bringing a whole lot of people into the game, right? It's throughout this new city. It's like, it's replacing the park and the neighborhood and everything they had before that. Um, my thoughts and opinions on this, at least day one and day two or day three, is that this mode is an amazing idea. It's an amazing idea. But God damn it, why the hell is there only 100 people per park in there? You have four affiliations, right? Four big affiliations you want filled up. So why the heck is there 100 people per park? What needs to happen, which I, knowing 2K, I don't know if they're going to want to spend the money on this. But they need to buy better servers, y'all. Buy better servers and buy to the point where you can have like 1,000 people in one server. Because... There is no way I should be just sitting around for like an hour because I have nothing to do or no one's playing any type of park games whenever I try to play park games. And then whenever I do play a park game, it's one game and then everybody's just gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to get games. The only way you could possibly get games in right now consistently is if you're a big time YouTuber or you do what I do and I just go into the wreck by myself sometimes and just play with randoms. But I've ended up being lucky with the randoms I've gotten with. They've been pretty good randoms. But... I love the idea of the city. I love it, bro. The whole atmosphere. This this is next gen. But when there's not enough people in a server, that don't work. It makes it so dull. It makes it so boring. I love this idea, but you have to add more people per server. Look how big this city is, right? You have four big affiliations. You have stuff that looks like a goddamn shopping mall. My thing is, why not just, just spend a little bit more money and put it towards some servers, you know what I'm saying? Please, we've been asking for better servers for years. And God knows, I, I freaking played a game earlier today uh, in the park. And it's weird because one side of the court will lag and the other side won't. So I'll be smooth when I'm on defense. But when I'm on offense, I'm lagging. And it's not even just me. Everyone is lagging. I'm like, bruh, it's, this is next gen. This is the PS5. And we're still going through these same problems. I thought maybe they might have updated the servers when it came to the... Uh, to this year, but nah, fam, they ain't upgrading none of that. So it's gonna be hard to get stuff popping. Cause like I said, this city is an amazing idea, but it's gonna be hard to get any games, have any fun if there's no one even in your server. If there's only a hundred people per server, from what I'm seeing, that's not any fun. That's not fun at all, man. It should be better than it should be at least up to a thousand people per server. Six hundred if we're being on 2k's reasonable side but that's just my thoughts on it i love the i love the mode it's just it's so boring there's no one here and then also the, the servers are either laggy there's no one in them or they're just not good enough but that's just my thoughts on that um like i said the gameplay when it comes to it it ain't bad i actually you know kind of the games that weren't lagging weren't that bad honestly like i really had i love the new gameplay field now it could be me saying this because i'm a center right i'm a center that's the eight overall right now right so i don't have to worry about dribbling but i hear dri from least what i'm seeing i love the dribbling this year but i know them little cheaters that love them little left right left right left right 
oh, they hate it this year because I know they really can't do it like they want to do it. So they might end up fixing the the the, the dribbling. But my gameplay, the gameplay to me so far isn't the problem. It's just the lags, the servers, all that stuff. But I'm really, I, I really, the games that didn't lag, I really like them this year on this uh, next gen so far. Next thing I'm going to get into um, a little bit is um, right, just right quick. I'm not going to get too deep into it. But they have this new mode in here, kind of replacing my GM. But it's called, uh, what is it called? My NBA? Yeah, my NBA. <laughs> Uh, for the next gen, um, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, um, NBA, or it's just it's pretty much the same thing as my league, honestly, y'all. I haven't really touched it too much, but honestly, it's the same goddamn thing. If we're being completely honest, it's just they just named it a little bit different. Which I kind of played my my league last year a little bit, so I had a little bit of fun. I haven't really gotten too far into this mode, but from what I see so far, and if it's the same exact thing. I ain't gonna be mad at it, man. Yeah, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be fully mad at it. But just know that, that my GM thing is probably gonna be the exact same. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, uh, my boy Shakedown helped me with this part. Is if you guys don't, it's probably what maybe you might be in there. Who knows? But the my team mode, man. My team is back. Uh which what I thought was gonna happen is exactly what happened. Which, if all your players could potentially carry over to the next gen, I thought my, it might end up being the same game. Which, it kind of was whenever I uh, played a little bit of my team. It's just, The only thing that's different is the feel of it. Like I said, the, feel, the gameplay feels a lot different on next gen, which I love it. I obviously love the lighting and how the courts look. They added new courts into the game on my team. But honestly... Everybody that, that I've talked to that plays my team just said it feels the same. And it's just, it's my team has gotten boring. Half of the my team players have actually switched over to, to the city. Because it looks like 2K is putting more effort into the city this year. So, I mean, I'm not a big my team guy. Because I'm not a big person when it comes to spending a lot of money uh, when playing my team. So, that's why I usually don't s stick to my team too much. Because it's pretty much play to, pay to win. To, to win these dang games. But... Yeah, my team's pretty much the same aside f except for these new courts. Which, I don't know, you can either be mad at that or you can not be mad at it. But I know a lot of people that played my team on current gen do not or, or aren't really playing my team on next gen. So, I mean, you could take that how you want to take it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how you guys want to take it. Now, there's something I do want to talk about, man. It's the next thing that's on my... Uh, all my stuff to talk about, man. And it's this, it's this mode that's been in the game for literally years. It's been in the game. But I just feel like there's something with it that just has this new feel to it. And if you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about, it's the new... Not new, but it's the My Career Mode, man. Uh, My Career Mode, to me, I don't know what it is. Because if you guys know me, I never play My Career. I always skip and go to the park. But there's something with it this year that I'm like, you know what? This feels fresh. This feels new. I was actually playing some My Career games today. Aside from the point that when you finish the goddamn game, you get no My Point for it. You get no badge progression for it. But besides that, there's something about it that I was just like, man, I really, I'm liking this. I don't know if it's just like, like the intro you get when you start the game. Or what it is. Because it's like, because if you guys don't know, when you first go into a My Career game um, this year, you get this new little animation. I don't know, maybe it's that. I don't fully know. But it's just something with My Career this year where I'm like, you know what? This feels so refreshing. This feels so new. The story is actually good. I got to replay the story because I ended up skipping it and going right to the NBA with my center. But the story feels so... I, I, I'm actually watching some people play the G League. And it's like a decision. You can go either college or the G League. And the G League route looks so dope. It looks like they really spent a lot of time with the G League route. And even the NBA parts I'm playing... It like they spent a lot of time on that. So I'm definitely going to give my career more of a try. I've been saying in the video that I, that the my career mode just has just a fresh, fresh look. Aside from the, the glitches you get where you don't get any badge progress and any my points for it. But aside from that, man, I don't know, man. My career looking like a move this year. 
I really like the My Career mode. So I'm really spending a lot of time in my career this year. Uh, but with saying all that, man, you guys want to know my final verdict. Look, I've always said this with 2K games. I've always said just wait until the patches or, you know, wait till they fix the stuff. But, I mean, if you've already spent your 100 bucks on it, you might as well just go ahead and get it. But so far, if they if they just fix the city, they make the servers a lot bigger where you can hold a lot more people... Uh, my team gets a little bit of a new rebranding, a new feel. My career is fine. My NBA is fine. But I just think if they really kind of touch my team a little bit and they really fix the goddamn lag in the in the city and they make the server a lot bit bigger, I think this can be one of the best 2Ks, honestly. I think this could be on track on being one of the best 2Ks. But that's only time will only tell from that point. Um... But I would love to know your guys' thoughts and your guys' opinions on all this. Do you guys like the city? Do you guys not like it? I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, yeah, man. I'm really, I really like this game so far. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 just because they got to fix some crap. But from sides from... And it's easy stuff they can easily fix. So once they easily fix this stuff, I think this 2K could be so fun. But that's on us thinking if 2K is actually going to put the time, put the money into fixing the stuff. So... With saying that, man, I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this down below. Your first time finding my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, please like this video. Tell me your thoughts on this video. And with saying that, hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.